Welcome to my kitchen. Springtime makes me want to eat fresh salads and cooler foods. And since we're learning more every day about the tremendous health benefits of fish and the omega-3s and the DHA they have, I decided to make you tuna salad with a new twist. This is so crisp and delicious, and with fresh fennel and dill, it's fantastic, so let's get started. One of the greatest concerns we have with eating more fish is the possible contamination of mercury, especially when including the large fish in our diet. I read the large albacore tuna has a greater risk of containing mercury. Actually, it's about 315% more than the smaller varieties like yellowfin or skipjack. Canned white tuna is the albacore variety, whereas the chunk light tuna is made with yellowfin and skipjack. In addition to those concerns, when you buy canned tuna, you can't control the sodium. So I decided to make my salad with fresh tuna, and I've got to tell you, the taste of this salad will convince you to take the extra time. This is great. Now we're going to start by taking a large lemon, just roll it out just like that. We're going to cut this little guy in half. And then I'm going to squeeze the juice of half my lemon into a mixing bowl. I just love using these lemon slicers, but squeezers, but sometimes it's hard to get it to fit. All right, we're just going to squeeze that out just like that and see how great. I can get a couple tablespoons of juice this way. Every last bit of goodness into my mixing bowl. And then we're going to take the other half and we're just going to slice it. I'm going to put this actually into my skillet and I'm going to cook it with my tuna. And the tuna that I'm going to use today is the yellowfin because I don't want that mercury contamination. I used to think I only liked the white tuna, but the more I learn and the more I study, I see there's a good case and now I love this tuna. So I've already got my water hot over here. We'll just put that in there. And then we're going to take a couple tablespoons of fresh dill. You know, you always use dill with fish. It's so good. Just chop that guy up like that. Okay, so we've got that in there. I've already got my water boiling. So now we're going to add our tuna steak. About six ounces is about what you're going to need to make this recipe. This is just great. So we'll take our tuna and put him right in there. Get my dishes kind of tucked up here. And I want to get, the, get it just a little bit higher. That'll come back to a uh, boil here in just a second and see how pretty it is. I'm going to put a lid on that. We're just going to let it simmer for about six minutes. You'll know it's done when the tuna is opaque all the way through. So we'll get our lid out here and let that get cooking. Okay, after you've cooked it for about six minutes, you're going to want to drain it and chill thoroughly. Now for the dressing, this is just great. You're going to take three tablespoons olive oil, put right back in our mixing bowl, a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard. You can use plain mustard if you don't have Dijon, but if you want to try Dijon, it's really good. It has spices in it. Gives it a nice flavor. And then we'll just whisk that up, just like that. And then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so for this dish, I'm going to add one yellow onion. I just like cooking with yellow onions. You can use a different variety if you like. I'm going to get some onion in there. Mix that in there. A couple ribs of celery, diced rather small one fennel bulb, chopped. If you haven't cooked with fennel, you've got to give it a try. It's got sort of a crunchy licorice flavor, adds such a nice depth to dishes. It's a bulb vegetable, and since it grows in the earth, it's so high in minerals like magnesium, calcium, iron, phosphorus, and copper. It's also really high in the antioxidant vitamin C. That's really good to know, too. A couple tablespoons of chopped parsley, I like cooking with the Italian flat leaf parsley. I think that one's really good too. And then we're going to add a cup of red seedless grapes cut in halves, just like that. I've got to tell you, this salad is so easy. Everybody just loves it. Okay, now 
I already have a tuna steak ready for you that's already been cooked, prepared, and chilled. And like I said, it's the yellowfin tuna, so it's going to be a little bit darker than what you might see when you're used to looking at the white tunas. This is when it's been cooked for about six minutes. It's really perfect. Just pick it up, and after you've cooked it, and just break it. You see how easily it comes apart? That's how you know it's done really well. Just break it apart right into your bowl. Tuna is such a great source of protein, so good for the kids, good for everyone. You know, it's really high in magnesium. We talk about magnesium every day, don't we, and how we need it. It's got phosphorus, it's got potassium, and I find it really interesting that it's high in vitamin B6, not to mention those wonderful omega-3s. It's got a little omega-6, but not that much, but it's the threes we're trying to raise in our diets anyway. So we'll just shred that all up and... Then we'll just mix it up and serve it up. It's just delicious. I tell you, when I go, when we go on vacation, a lot of times Richard loves to go deep sea fishing. I mean, that's the highlight of whenever we do go to areas that have ocean, we've got to go deep sea fishing. And so I'd go with him. And I'm not a very good fisherman, but I play along and I love going out on the ocean. And then I'll sit in the back and read my book. And I saw the skipjack fish going, they're so pretty and they just in and out on top of the water, I didn't realize they were tuna. Because, you know, I always seem to catch the shark. He gets the really good fish. But he's always really patient, and he's good at always putting the bait on my hook for me. All right, let me just get this all shredded up. It can be a little bit tough. That looks good, though. All right. And then we'll just give it a good stir. Mmm, smells great. I think the key to this is really getting that tuna chilled and then it breaks apart really good. So that's an important one. I think you could do that probably the day before or the evening before if you wanted to serve it the next day so that it's good and chilled. All right, that's all there is to that. We'll season it with some salt and pepper. And remember us talking about the sodium content and how you can't control it with the canned variety? There was no salt in this except what I'm putting on right now. You can't beat that. Put that in there, give it another quick toss, and we're ready to serve it. How delicious. Now, to serve this up, I like to place it, if I'm using this for an entree, I like to make myself a bed of greens. So I've got my, put my lettuce and my salad right on here. In fact, we do this at home a lot. We'll put all the things out on a bar, and then everyone just build their salad, and that's a great way to do an entree. So we'll have a beautiful bed of greens, just like that, and I'll take about one cup of the tuna salad, which will make about a serving. So we want to make sure that we don't supersize ourselves, but we get the protein that we need. Mm, that looks so pretty, mounded up like that. A little bit more right there okay and then I'll top it with some chopped nuts maybe put some slices of avocado right over here Richard loves avocado I do too as well and then let's just take a little bit of a dill just like that and we have a beautiful entree salad of tuna and then if there's any left over and that's a big if the next day it's great to mound on a piece of fresh whole wheat bread top with your favorite cheese heated in the broiler for a classic tuna melt so you see healthy cooking can be easy just try it you've got to get this recipe go to my website print it off enjoy it it's great and the fresh tuna really does make a difference with the lemon, the dill, the fennel. You have a recipe the whole family will love and ask for over and again. Thank you so much for being with me today, and be sure to stay tuned for more of your health.